are also finding humor in a series I did, a series called Bonanza. How many of you remember that? Thank you. We had a lot of fun doing that show for some time and made some wonderful friends all around the world. We played at one time in 97 countries around the world, seen by 400 million people every week for 14 years. So we all know the kind of stuff that the comedians are doing about bananas. I mean, I think you must have heard it. They're saying things like, uh, isn't it strange? Four men living together all those years on the Ponderosa. Just four guys all alone. No girls. No women. <laughs> Just the four guys and sheep. Those things, that kind of thinking, it's not true. We dated. We had girls. Well, maybe not little Joe. Now, let, let me tell you something. The Ponderosa was something very special to me. I rode that range for 14 years. We were one big happy family. And the biggest of them all, was, of course, was Hoss. He was the... I used to inter introduce him to people. I'd introduce him. I want you to meet my son, Hoss. 285 pounds, 6 foot 4, any way you want to measure him. He was the biggest baby born in Bowie County, Texas. And this is the truth, the real Hoss. He was 14 pounds at birth. Yes, mothers. <laughs> probably explains why he was an only child. <laughs> and then there was Adam. He was the intellectual one. Adam left the Ponderosa. He became Trapper John. <laughs> and then little Joe. One day he disappeared. Gone. I mean, I didn't know where he was. For, I don't know for how long. And I turned on the television one night. And there he was. He was married. I hadn't even been invited to the wedding. And he had three children. And in such a short time. And I, you know, if that kid had stayed on the Ponderosa, he could have had the whole ranch. Instead of living in that little shack on the prairie. 